Welcome back to the Savage Nation. Yes, the tornado is a tragedy for the families affected by it. Yes, it will cost hundreds of millions, if not billions, to uh, uh, fix the damage. Uh, yes, there is a context to all of these things. Uh, death rate, 24, nine children, monster storm, rated EF5. I read you from the Grapes of Wrath. I try to tell you that what happened uh, to the folks in Oklahoma and Texas during the 30s, during the dust storms, drove them west. They were like ants scurrying for work, for food, and most of all, for land. They said, we ain't foreign. Seven generations back Americans, and beyond that, Irish, Scotch, English, German, one of our folks in the Revolution, and there was lots of our folks in the Civil War, both sides, Americans. They were hungry, and they were fierce, and they had hoped to find a home, and they found only hatred. Now, remember, these are white people. They found only hatred. Okies. The owners hated them because the owners knew they were soft and the Okies strong, that they were fed and the Okies hungry. And perhaps the owners had heard from their grandfathers how easy it is to steal land from a soft man if you are fierce and hungry and armed. The owners hated them, and in the towns the storekeepers hated them because they had no money to spend. There is no shorter path to a storekeeper's contempt, and all his admirations are exactly opposite. The town men... Little bankers hated Okies because there was nothing to gain from them. They had nothing. And the laboring people hated Okies because a hungry man must work. And if he must work, if he has to work, the wage payer automatically gives him less for his work. And then no one can get more. That's from the great novel, The Grapes of Wrath, which I read in high school. Is it even taught anymore? Is it even taught anymore in this sick, illiterate nation of mine? Let's go to some callers. WABC, Dom, you're on the Savage Nation. What's on your mind? Uh, I just wanted to thank you for that electrifying um, uh, dust ball. Um, just start coming from a communist country. I don't know where, where to run next. You know, I came from Venezuela. I saw the same thing happening. I see bad things happening here. And this country is going, um, it's going down quickly. So, well, you When you import 30 million illegals who come from a socialist nation, who like dictatorships because that's what they came from, who do not understand democracy, who do not speak the language, who wave the Mexican flag at sporting events, who spit on the American flag, who won't learn the language, who don't know who the presidents were before Obama. What do you think is waiting for America? Uh, um, yeah, ah, that's what's waiting for America. A knife through the heart of the illegal alien mafia that just bought every senator that they could buy. Because they have unlimited funds. Not one senator stood up to them, to the, to, the, to the liberals. Not one senator. The Republicans went along with them. Yep, you, you think the dust ball was bad? You wait and see what happens when the locusts start eating what's left of the social fabric. You wait and see. Don't say I didn't warn you. Rhode Island, 